you know, separate and apart from the org together. Joint account. Joint account. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, with your little VEX money in there. Yeah, with your own little VEX money. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to our podcast. And this is the Cozy Coach Conversations, Conversations with Shans and Debs. I'm Shans. And I'm Debs. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing this week? We are all right. You okay? I'm fine. Yes. I'm okay too, guys. I am fine too. So, this week's video is requested by one of our subscribers mm-hmm. and friends on IG. So, yes. She sent us something that she would love for us to discuss mm-hmm. because you know she and her fiance would love to hear our views on these topics, and mm-hmm. they were very interesting. So we we're like, you know, why not just share them with all of you guys and mm-hmm. yeah, invite you guys into our business. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's basically navigating life in Jamaica as a lesbian couple. Um, she sent us some pointers as well, which was really helpful. Thank you so much for sending us this topic this week. And we're so happy to discuss these with mm-hmm. you guys. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, babe. You can get into it. Yeah, let's dive into it. Okay. So, apparently, must start right really bad. Mm, crab toe. I don't know, I don't know what I do, right? Crab toe. But it's like I'm just <laughs> Not rushing normally. to write. No, I, I was just know. rushing to write them on the cards. I should tell Mr. Shakira read my handwriting. The disrespect. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing is merging finances. So like open bank accounts together. Have we done that? What's our thoughts on it? Um, yeah. How you go about doing that? Yeah. Let's let's go. So that is surprisingly easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean for Jamaica. I mean it's not any different um for us a straight couple or any any um type of couple or Mm -hmm. two persons the same things you need you need like uh the lock of a virgin a newt toenail uh stop (laughs) it no what 10 id five reference all the requirements that the bank need (laughs) you will need them your granny first (laughs) job Because I, mean, I know why the bank Apple wants so much things to open on account in Jamaica. It's so crazy. Yeah, but, but it's, it's the same things that you generally need. But I guess what people want to hear is if we actually like, as have... a couple, maybe if you recommend it, do you do it? How does and it also help if us? we have it because they don't we know do. if we have we a do. joint account. All right. So we have our separate accounts okay. and we do have a joint account. So when you're mer- like. Merging after that. Merge right. When you're merging um your life then um and you're paying bills together mm-hmm. and um yeah, you're managing your life and your finances, um, it is convenient to have a shared account. Yeah. We found. Um if I mean you can still have your separate accounts with Because we, we do. do. We have our mm-hmm. own accounts, you know, separate and apart from the or together joint account, joint account. Mm-hmm. um yeah with your own money in there yeah with your own money <laughs> it's not it's not even like that but um yeah we do have separate i mean even though you're a couple i feel like it's important to still have something for yourself yeah like some some autonomy uh, you some... know some independence yes. something it's it's well for me it is very important mm-hmm. for me to have you know something to say that okay this is my account and this mm-hmm. is debbie's account and we have this account together mm-hmm. that we use to pay our bills and we buy food with True. that account yeah what else we do we do everything with it to be very honest with you mm-hmm. and we save in our separate account right right we do yeah. we do keep a little so we save separately right and then we use the joint i guess that would be saving too because we're actually saving in the account but we're using it for things important things no right it's, it's not really saving saving right. but um yeah it is the communal stash right so if anybody want anything them just use them just go buy whatever them want and it really don't matter because mm-hmm. we have the account together so it's like yeah whatever right. <laughs> yeah. yeah and i feel like the and I are very open about like our finances together mm-hmm. so it's like 
you know some relationship the person is like here take 10 grand and go do your mm. hair or your lashes or whatever i don't think we have that dynamic in our relationship no really. we don't really we kind of just have a communal stash and so we just do whatever we do we want. right because like i in the beginning <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel weird about that, guys. Like, like um, giving, like, say, oh, yeah, just yeah. Give, give you some money, and it cause... feels weird. So it's not that I'm mean or anything like that because the money is available, you know, to us both. But like me giving giving out money but like a know, parent feels weird for me not not that you know, because that some people is, like to do that. right some people because, like to do that and know, some people like to receive that true you know? and in a lesbian relationship where mm. let's say for example the masculine presenting female some mm. of them like to feel like you know spending mm. spending money on the woman is mm-hmm. like that just made them feel good i'd say and mm-hmm. then some girls like that too like them like when them partner just say hey, you know mm-hmm. give them some money and whatever yada yeah. yada yeah. it make you it, feels it make you feel good it make you feel good i guess i get i get that i get that um i like to share and care but not is it that you in don't... that way to make but it I seem like, like you've done that I am before like when I was studying in Cuba and I wasn't like working or you know mm-hmm. and I was in school I feel like you, you used to you used to you know yeah but it wasn't like this it wasn't a, a very it and wasn't so a tactless Debbie was tactless like I just do things and not like she'll just do yeah um, kind of a, a thing it's not yeah. like Oh, do you, I don't know how to explain it. I, I hope you guys are understanding <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I let, let me use like an X for example in my in my um case. You know, okay, okay. like I feel like me personally, like Debbie, Debbie, me, like I don't like to ask for anything, and I wouldn't be like, oh, you need to give me this. Like I never, I never ask. I just so must stay. And Debbie used to be like. I don't really ask for anything, which is true. Yeah. But you have some people, like mm. some people in the past, them I don't know if it's an ego thing where them feel like them just wanna give you money and make you feel like I don't know, that really didn't really offer me to be very honest with or you. Or they, they want they want other people to see to see them giving you money. And, more, and that, right, that right. never really I don't, didn't like, do to be very honest with you. I don't get my kicks from that. Yeah. yeah. And I really appreciate how we are together when it comes on to like our finances like mm-hmm. I, I we don't really have any arguments in that Mm-mm. we've never had like money money arguments have Mm-mm. we no no we haven't we're, we're pretty um, that's one of the kind of core things in a relationship that we kind of get right yeah um, we al- we've it, aligned on like from the get-go and it was know? an easy decision for us to say okay we're gonna mer- we're gonna have a joint account mm-hmm. like whenever i said no me no when i want to you know my business like yeah. you know how much money i have or vice versa yeah. i feel like we're, we've been on the same page right in that right. regard but we only got that joint account after the engagement right and I, I don't think it i don't think that the engagement was like a key moment of that it's just that or a deciding just, factor yeah, no, i was it, just saying like a timeline of when we actually okay cool yeah account. because we were talking about having a joint account before we even before i even knew that i was gonna get proposed to. yeah so yeah. it was more like you move home and so you were here more permanently and so you know yeah but i really appreciate how you know so i mean if you guys you know in a lesbian relationship queer relationship or whatever and you're actually here in jamaica and you want to have a joint account it's 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 really easy however mm-hmm. you will have to tell them that you guys are friends mm-hmm. you know you can't be like oh it's your partner so mm-hmm. when filling out the forms and stuff you know you're gonna put friend i mean right. that's a given because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's not legal here in jamaica but mm-hmm. you can get it done it's really not a problem All right yeah and yeah so that's basically our views on merging finances and stuff mm-hmm. and i really love how we we um do that mm-hmm. together like yeah. yeah 
Because yeah. I know that can be like a topic that, you know, in but relationships. If you read like a lot of things online, that's mm-hmm. one of the most important things that you need to talk about in your relationship, like mm-hmm. finances, because that can either put a strain on your relationship, if we're being mm-hmm. very honest, or you can have one person who is just a spender, 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 one person who just wants to save their money. Right. And it's just really hard to balance the two. One person who mm-hmm. not care how the bills pay mm-hmm. so it's like the money they really matter and then mm-hmm. that causes a lot of arguments in mm-hmm. in the relationship if you're not on the same page as it relates to finances right so i think that is very important mm-hmm. yeah um yeah. this i should say too this is my first time having a joint account with, me too with anybody other than family so like when it come on to finances like it's always like been this thing in my family where your name alone shouldn't be on any account so if it's me and mommy or me and my sister or Mm. somebody else should always be on on the account account kind of a thing so yeah you're my first partner to be on any account either well have a joint account because i had an account with my grandma Okay. She was the only person. I don't think mommy was ever on any of my accounts. Maybe. But mm. I know for a fact that we grandma had enough. me on every single account mm. <laughs> with her and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else to say? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. it? Yeah, stuff, yeah. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. So, the next one says, Lisa's home shopping. Mm. Um, so... We rent this apartment mm-hmm. together. Well, basically. All right. So Jamaica kind of funny. Mm-hmm. So I have done this whole renting thing before, even though mm-hmm. I have my people in my yard and all of this, my family home and whatever. But I've done this renting thing before um, as a queer couple. So it's easier Mm-hmm. Um, in my experience, that one owner go look the place, and you, the other person is a resident, right? Um, and so that is what we've done, just because j- people not so open minded. Um, they're more okay with you having a roommate or somebody who will be living with you. Mm-hmm. You know rather than you come as a couple Couple. um or it's even fine if you come as two friends Mm -hmm. um rather than a couple because of how we present together so i may look more dominant and chani not dominant what i call it i mean i like that word the masculine presenting you know but you know what I mean me look like more like the boyish one and and chan look like the, the femme one it give us away. Mm-hmm. So sometimes if the two of us may go out there, if we book up on like somebody who kind of, it, 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 it presents certain difficulties. Mm-hmm. So in the past, what we've done is, and then you weren't even but I here. Were, yeah, you, I was just about to say that. I was not here. To, to, I wasn't mm-hmm. living here. Right. So, you, so Shanice wouldn't have been here during the shopping of the apartment anyway um but in in my past it has had to be one one person has to be the face of it mm-hmm. um i feel like w- yeah because that's what you told me like yeah, yeah like, like when you and your exes were trying to right together, right that's what you guys had to do right so, one person would have to be the face right um and then the other would be a resident mm-hmm. or something like that um i feel like it, it in certain circles we jamaica has become more tolerant and um but i don't think well we're not all the way there and and this is why we do it the way we do it we do it yeah. um but it but if anybody else out there wanna go as a couple and on and on a landlord or a land person or whatever when I can make we know yeah let us know guys yeah. if you have ever rented anywhere as a queer couple in Jamaica, mm-hmm. just go there and say, un, uh, when you were filling out the application, mm-hmm. you said that you guys were a couple. Mm-hmm. Let's but know that, in the comments that other people can know as well. Right, and what you guys do. But that definitely is a hurdle and like it's a concern. It's like mm-hmm. you have to be very conscious and hope that you get a, 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 good, a, land a good landlord mm-hmm. who, you know, 
just care about them rent and why you keep the place good. Right. And don't make up the noise and disturb the neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you hope that you get somebody like that. We, that hasn't always been our experience. Sometimes no. you, you get people who feel like they must be in your life and always they in, mm -hmm. in dictates how you should live your life, even if you're not being disruptive and all of these things. So I know that that has been a hurdle and can be a hurdle yeah. um, when you're renting, when you're looking to buy now. You should tell them where it's you Yeah, to when you're looking to buy, that's a one different something. Um, so I don't know how it is now or if this is official or whatever, but when we were looking, we yeah. were told like in terms of mortgages, um, you have to establish ties to the person. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not the person's spouse. And right. so that is not recognized. So friend is not a tie. Um, no. and spouse is not a tie right. legally. So right so to, to break it down mm -hmm. when we were asking like you know went to the bank about the mortgages and whatever mm -hmm. they told us when they when they said ties though they meant like we need to have an account together and investments together, together. or a car together, together. or so a you, house our already to together on something together, together the leader right. recommended a bank account to us mm -hmm. and um, or, or a vehicle or yeah mm -hmm. right or an investment something with your name on it that with is the two on the name right in the system mm -hmm. already so yeah so when we and then to me like we were actually trying to do this home ownership thing and stuff mm -hmm. so what we had to do and because you know you need a pre-approval to be out there looking for places to buy mm -hmm. so at the time remember i just come home so, and i just started working mm -hmm. so debbie was the one after they told us about the whole um what's it called the ties that the ties thing and whatever mm -hmm. and we wanted to just try and do this thing mm -hmm. um debbie debbie did the mortgage thing in her name and right then i got the pre-approval pre right. so we could go looking mm -hmm. and um we were looking and you know we found this place and then i feel at the moment the realtor um realized, realized that, that we, were, we queer. were queer and we were trying to buy this place together like everything just attitude kind of changed yeah and she to me it just didn't make me feel so bad because yeah. i'm like she lit she literally started i feel like she started to give me attitude more because it's i really got it pretty. as well i got it as well because i felt like i felt like she she started talking down Don't, to, and she was very condescending me. yeah and this i found i found her to be very disrespectful mm. and i was so mad and i was like let's just not you know mm -hmm. with her and mm -hmm. you know it just never work out. I don't even know if those properties are are even sold as yet. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, that was our experience trying to buy a home here in Jamaica. I feel like that experience was not a great one as a mm -hmm. lesbian couple. And we've mm -hmm. never, like, told anybody about this. Yeah. Like this before because yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah. damn, I can't really believe we really got through this after we really did mm -hmm. have everything ready, <laughs> deposit everything. And we were ready to make this big move together as a couple mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not her that really deterred that. It's just the fact that the property still, <laughs> them still don't know what I'm doing with it, mm -hmm. I guess. Right. Yeah. But um, that experience was an experience. Yeah. The lady. Yeah, the lady. Mm -hmm. And um, it was interesting to see how, you know, how the dynamics of everything work in terms of the ties that you have to establish mm -hmm. and, and things like that. So even if we were married, it would not have been recognized right. there. Exactly. Either. But it was so funny because, you know, when when it was you alone who met up with her first, it was, she was so nice to Debbie, oh, yes. and, you know? Yeah. She was so nice. But the moment she realized that I was actually signing on to this thing. Mm -hmm. And like, I filled out the paper and gave it to her, me and Debbie the day. Mm -hmm. It's like, from this, one, she's like, yeah, okay, yeah, what is this? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, you know, yeah. and I'm from this, so we start to get it. And mm -hmm. like, brother. So yes, so guys, mm -hmm. I mean, if you are a home owner here in Jamaica and you know, you do it together, you can, mm -hmm. You know, recommend your realtor. I mean, mm. no, I do know a realtor that wouldn't give us the time right, if we're ever right, to go back right, into the market. Right. 
so um, we know so we know somebody who know would who would right. definitely go to mm-hmm. and um yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. so that's that let's talk about chores in the house because this is living together in jamaica <laughs> as a lesbian couple <laughs> so i'm not gonna for us we don't really have like um like you know specific chores to each other we do whatever in other house where we see right fit, seem fit i feel like so, like in from the beginning we kind of we each fell into things that we had a knack for yeah so um so i had a knack for the washing and the ironing yeah. And you have I a knack like for... I like to cook and I'll clean. But you know what's funny? Bib and I, we clean together most of the time. Yeah. So it's like we're always... If we set a weekend and we clean together, if it is that the baby be tired or she's not feeling well or whatever, mm-hmm. I'll do the cleaning myself. Mm-hmm. If baby gets up and she feels like clean, she'll clean. So it's not like we say, oh, your week. You are the your cleaning week to wash. and me mm-hmm. are the whatever, whatever. No. Or this is your week to wash the bathroom or something like that. Right. We don't really work like that because there are things I don't like to do and there are mm-hmm. things Debbie don't like to do. Mm-hmm. And... And there Even are though weeks. we don't really like to do them, right? Mm. There are weeks when we have to do it if we can't, right. if one of us cannot do it. Right. So there are weeks where I may not be feeling well or you may not be feeling well. And we're kind yeah. of swap so it So like, if I have Sunday mm-hmm. or Saturday and I will wash day and mm-hmm. they don't feel good as she normally does the washing, I'll mm-hmm. just wash. Like, it's not mm-hmm. a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I don't feel like cooking. Babe makes really nice shrimp. She'll just come yes. out here and make some shrimp and rice. She's really good at that. And breakfast. I'm oh, yeah, good you at breakfast. breakfast. Yes. yes, she makes breakfast. Mm-hmm. And so, but I love cooking, so I don't mind going into the kitchen, but mm-hmm. it might not feel too well. She got this, you know? So we really, mm-hmm. we really have each other in that regard and... Mm-hmm. yeah it's so funny how things just flow when we're living together like some people mm-hmm. you can't really live with them and see me and come live with me are two different things right. sometimes for some people but for us living together to me it's it's pretty easy mm-hmm. it, it kind of flows easy. i know that like with with some people it may take more of an effort, effort to kind of meet too. each other mm-hmm. halfway kind of a thing and that's fine too mm-hmm. it's just that that was one of the areas that we were you know, you know, to kind of match. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of match right there. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. so now we have kids on the, on the, on the menu. One thing with them, I love food. Because huh? <laughs> I was about to say, next we have kids on the menu. Okay, we have kids on the list. Mm-hmm. So she was asking, you know, kids, Um, do we want kids? Are we going to have kids? When do we want kids? How are we going to have kids? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Why? May I tell you? Let me tell you. So when we met, we had this discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, I am okay either way. If I don't have kids, I'm fine. If I have kids, great. I if I adopt, if I it, it don't it don't matter to me. Mm-hmm. No matter to me. But Denise mm-hmm. wants kids and wants to carry kids, um, children, babies. Mm-hmm. Um, so. We do want that in the future. In the future. Um, we don't know how that's going to work here. Um, to be very honest with you, I don't know if I want to have kids here. Yeah. And if it is that I have to have kids here, I am not so sure if I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Or if we would raise kids here. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that would work. And I don't know if I'd want to raise my children yeah it kind of it kind of is an adjustment you know what i mean it mm-hmm. would be i don't know if i'd want to bring somebody if me i've been in a jamaica a them have to go one of them school there that is americanized i don't care what nobody say mm-hmm. but i don't know i don't know it, it just would be different and i don't mm-hmm. know how i feel about that right i don't know yeah. how we'd navigate something like that yeah. out here true and because they've always been like oh you know she would want kids but it's like if i said that we really don't have to have kids you would be okay with that mm-hmm. that's what he said mm-hmm. but i feel like when debbie asked me this question like if you never have kids if, if you never had a have a child would you feel happy in the mm-hmm. long run? Mm-hmm. And sometimes the answer is mm-hmm. no, I mm-hmm. wouldn't. So it's like maybe I'll end up having a child because 
ultimately mm-hmm. that's something I want. And mm-hmm. I really want to see them behind the high with a little baby, you know. <laughs> baby would be a really nice mom. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah. I think I have some care in you have some, I have some she caring, very caring to here. Be, yeah, I'm very and caring. She would do well with a baby. I I think I would. I think I would. Yeah. Debbie would be the one to play with the baby. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you would be like the disciplinarian. Yeah, but I really <laughs> would want, you know, a sweet little Debs, mini Debs shans running around <laughs> the place and stuff. But yeah. to be honest, I feel like I, well, we want. To have certain things in place mm-hmm. before we have a child, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Yeah, That's we want thing. the baby to have somewhere comfortable to live. Mm-hmm. We don't want the baby come and have to nah, uh-uh, that struggle life and that's something there. Or the baby will eat whatever you eat. I don't subscribe mm-hmm. to that. Mm-hmm. Babe, don't subscribe to that. So we want to be able to plan for this baby and have this baby in the quote unquote right time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we are not in any rush even have a child Mm-mm. so yeah if it comes in the future it would be a blessing to us as a couple yeah. and as a family because we're really a family mm-hmm. um yeah so that's our views on you know having kids mm-hmm. no the last one is marriage and i feel like everybody should know how we feel about marriage mm-hmm. we talk about because, it so much yeah we really do talk about it a lot mm-hmm. and from from the moment we started talking to each other we knew that we wanted to get to get married and mm-hmm. have like a family yeah. we probably never know so we didn't want to get married to each other but we mm-hmm. knew that ultimately that's what we wanted we did know we did not say we are gonna get married together uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm. she knew she knew she knew we did know she knew <laughs> she knew why are you just catch me i'm probably for full of the bed <laughs> anyway uh-huh. guys <laughs> <laughs> yes, so marriage, yeah, and for those asking, we are going to get married soon, and if mm-hmm. we've never said it here on YouTube before, I feel like we've said it on TikTok Lives, mm-hmm. we are going to be doing an elopement, yes. simply because, why are we choosing that route, babe? I feel like we had a big engagement. And also, weddings are expensive, Yeah, we and just, we don't we want done just... with money and <laughs> pay for um this bag of people for come to a wedding and stuff we would rather do an elopement and go big for the honeymoon you know use all of that wedding money and do for the honeymoon because for some reason when the people them here wedding they're looking mm-hmm. for wedding everything double and triple and ten dollar cake costs one million, one million. like dollar. why just because you hear that it's for a wedding mm-hmm. makes no sense to me i would prefer for us to that money in our joint account mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. we got splurge in a you in a greece mm-hmm. <laughs> something yeah. but or wherever, or wherever we choose you know but yeah um, so mm-hmm. ultimately yeah and obviously we would not be getting married here in jamaica because mm-hmm. it's not legal mm-hmm. and our marriage would not be recognized so here. after we get married wherever we go to get married mm-hmm. yeah when we come back we would just be we still have to put, you know what, get me. And somebody said this to me on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Where we go away and get married and come back, you know, we have to put single on those forms. Mm-hmm. We're still a couple single. We are still single. I know here. that. I mean, and you know, um, it's about the commitment for me. It's about it is the about the commitment, me, but and... it would be nice, you know, to, mm-hmm. you know, oh, I'm married. But it's. Mm-hmm. Missing married, you know, I mean, Yeah, I know. Nobody baby. want to say, you know, but yeah. Um, we are married. When, and when and we, we kind of we can't like we kind of look at the world as a more global space, you know, in terms of where you work, where you can work, where you travel mm-hmm. to, and where you ultimately will live, right. you know, um, and it will be recognized there in other places. So right. that's fine. So that's fine for true. But mm-hmm. yeah, guys, tell me that ever come to you before, like when you come home back after you get married as a queer couple, mm-hmm. you're literally gonna have to fill out the forms and say single. That's I wonder. Okay. I wonder if um if ever if anybody has ever experienced that. But um, yeah. Or if them only come back to vacation you know what or to for know a short if time. If people, if there are any married lesbian couple here mm-hmm. in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. that um you know they go away and them get married like mm-hmm. the name change like 
you know i wonder how that part go um, that is deep in pole, the deep you know, pole yeah, i know yeah. but like you yeah, have to just do deep pole you just have to come here and oh. and and the deep pool, I, I'm assuming. We have to do research on that, Panda guys. Pie. Like, what, yeah. what, what is life like after getting married and then and coming, coming back, back to Jamaica? Yeah, as a couple. As a couple. I know I've heard about, you know, people who who get married and one of them have to come back for whatever reason before they actually go, go overseas. What do um, you mean? Like, like you like say for instance you were in the states and i go like up and I get married yeah states. and i oh, and no. we get married and then i come back yeah, for a little that, while that or whatever different. i'm not mm. talking about like getting married to like an american you mean mm-hmm. i'm not talking about like them i'm talking back. about like jamaicans like for us mm-hmm. the two of us are jamaicans and i'm mm-hmm. wondering you know like how that go mm-hmm. you know but um yeah mm. yeah well mm-hmm. I guess we can find out, like, find a couple like that. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. If you know of anybody that, you know, both of you guys, you know, go back to the again. Like, what's it like, you know, like, after mm-hmm. you guys come back? Mm-hmm. Like, in terms of, like, the name change and those kind of things. Mm-hmm. To be very honest with you, we just have to get married and then we will just come back and live our lives as normal like we are right now. Mm-hmm. And we just know that so we're married. Like, that's all that matters. We are legal somewhere. It may not be Jamaica so yeah mm-hmm. it is what it is um at the end of the day for no for no <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah that's it guys so that's basically it mm-hmm. yeah we don't have anything else to say as it relates to navigating life in jamaica as a resident couples if you have any more questions feel free to hit us up on instagram or on tiktok or you can send us an email it's in the description here on youtube or you can just drop a comment down below mm-hmm. and we will definitely answer or you know get back to you so yeah mm-hmm. thank you guys so much for tuning in we really do appreciate the love and the support thank you for liking the videos thank you for commenting subscribe yes that and one thing you know every week you can come and tell them to subscribe <laughs> guys and don't disappoint our mm-hmm. subscribe please share with your friends your family everybody and tell them to subscribe all right mm-hmm. thank you guys love you bye